Hello there. I'm here to um, answer um, some questions about a very a very interesting topic for musicians. People especially who have a background in 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 the Eastern classical music and also know a little bit about Western music. <coughs> Friends and students have been asking me uh, this question for a long time. Then the question is can ragas indian ragas and and classical ragas be orchestrated and harmonized well first of all you must you must understand that all ragas are monotonic they are they are not harmonic they are melodic so you don't play if you pick up any instruments uh, traditional classical instruments like the sitar the sarod the flute and so on um you'll find that they they don't you you don't play two or three notes at the same time when you're when you're presenting a raga no because it's it's monotonic it's it's um it's not harmonic western music although allows you harmony and an orchestration in terms of that you can in a melody um play two or three notes together uh, what any what are essentially called chords now Indian music in Bollywood and that's a good example a good place to start has been using the, has been using um Indian ragas since decades now since the uh, 40s uh, mid 40s and so on songs based on ragas have been orchestrated and have, have been and therefore harmonized so the components of western music has crept into um, Bollywood music a long time ago and therefore and and classical raga based songs have been orchestrated and harmonized and arranged by a master craftsman like um Anthony Gonzalez and Sebastian de Souza and in the later years Manohar Singh Pyarelal and so on um which brings forth the answer to the question that yes in my opinion you can orchestrate or harmonize add chords and and arrangements to ragas yes you can the problem is that you need to then understand the rules of the raga so when you harmonize and add chords and orchestration and background music you must be aware that you cannot violate or disturb the rules of a raga every raga has very strict rules in its ascending descending movements in its uh, phrases in in the emphasis of certain notes and so on so when you are adding chords or orchestration you must be extremely careful that you don't violate these rules of a raga now there is a lot to say about this topic uh, it's it can get a little complex but for students of music um, who are interested or even singers or, or musicians who know a bit of uh, classical indian classical and also understand western music they should give it a try i, I would recommend uh, let's say a rag like rag bhopali which is a pentatonic rag has only five notes um so it is uses uh, sa re ga pa and da that's it sa re ga pa da upper sa and then back again sa dha pa ga re sa da the fourth and the seventh notes are not used at all and therefore my question is to all friends musicians students how will you harmonize this raga the first chord of obviously is a major chord let's say you're singing from c is your tonic note your sa c major is your chord but then the rest of the chords how will you use remember the fourth and the seventh note are not part of this raga so when you form chords you can't use these notes at all if you want to stick to the purity of the raga so do you think about it and if you need more information you should get on to my website www.avijitsarkar.com.au and under the literature section where I, where, I, where my writings are there is a subsection called essays and under that you'll see uh, this is a particular essay that i have written about chords and and harmonizing chords so think about it or go to my website and have a look at this particular essay 
hope this answers uh, some of the questions posed to me goodbye for now and till next time thank you for listening